I'm stepping into the unknown in this video. I'm hoping that we're gonna see an abandoned stadium. I don't know if it's gonna be completely knocked down, partially knocked down, a full housing estate. That is part of the mystery for me today in this video. Abandoned stadium videos are some of my favorite. Let's get on the road from Darlington to York. Look at all these tourists here behind me at York Minster. One of York's most amazing buildings, actually. Look at that, it is absolutely insane. Um, they're all here to take in the history and see the famous tourist attraction of York. I'm here because there's a link to the football team, of course. York City Football Club were formed in 1922, so happy 100 years, York City FC. Their nickname is the Minsters. After this place, York Minster. I'm gonna put their league form um, on screen right now sort of down the years as you can see um, just to give you a bit of context about sort of what size club they are they won promotion to the National League through the playoffs um, last season having finished fifth in the National League North speaking of the National League North look at more modern times look it hasn't been in their history to be that low look they are usually sort of a league club um, even reaching as high as the second tier, sort of midway through their history there. Um, but yeah, pretty much third tier, fourth tier. But yeah, in more recent times, they've been more of a non-league team. Look at this, how nice is York, by the way? So English, people out having their teas in there coffees in the morning we got the minster just through them trees over there the sun is out on this uh, lovely june day here so i hope we're going to see an abandoned stadium today i did two abandoned stadium videos um recently in bradford and rotherham and someone commented that i need to get to york so they're knocking one down and i hope i've not missed the boat on it but we will see later on just look how nice york is york is a lovely city here um, in Yorkshire, of course, I guess is where Yorkshire obviously gets its name. But in 207 to 211 AD, York was the capital of Roman-occupied Britannia. And then about 600 years later in the 800s, it was the capital of Viking territory in Britain with a population of around 10,000. There we go, history lesson over. Let's go and check out the abandoned, I hope, stadium. We're just in time to see some of it getting knocked down, I believe. I'm not going to be able to see over this myself, but I'm going to pop the GoPro over. Hang on. How's it looking? Let's have a look over here. I'm going to do a whole loop of this place. This is where the stadium once was. See if we can find any remnants. Look at that. That's part of it over there. I even have the uh, sort of the old gates where the turnstiles would have been. Still remaining, thankfully. There's still parts of it for me to see. I live in Dallas. So oh, you live in Texas, my, yeah. My family lives here in Yorkshire. Some of them do. Yeah. So we're trying to find a house. And then I imagine, I wish that I bought this house, I don't know, like 20 years ago. Oh, it, as of soon course. as they closed this down, it must have gone up in value. Of course, yeah, because this is going to become a big housing estate yeah, now, yeah, I guess, I anyway. Yeah, yeah, that too, yeah. 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 Wow, and look at this. You can see a lot of it from here. There's a few workmen just over there, but wow, look, there's part of the old stadium now. Think of what this would have been like back in the day. I mean, yeah, look, they're starting to really knock it down now. But you can still see the brickwork of the red and the white, the colours, I guess, of York. And here, look, this is... That piece of paper up there says shop online 24-7 ycfcstore.co.uk I guess that means that was the uh, that was the club shop there. I wonder if there's anything else to see around the other side. Here's a alleyway which sort of runs parallel to where the old stadium walls would have once been. So York City 
they didn't always play at this ground. They actually played elsewhere at the very start of their history. So a hundred years ago, of course they are a hundred years old to this date. Maybe you're watching this video in a couple of years time. If so, hello, Sam from the past here. Um, from when I'm filming this, 2022 is obviously uh, York's 100th year as a club. So they spent their first couple of years as a team um, they spent their first couple of years as a team somewhere else, a bit further outside of the city. So um, I mentioned this in my Darlington video, which I filmed yesterday. A lot of old stadiums were built inside of city centres. Look at where York's stadium is, or their old stadium is. Look at this, in and around the terraced housing of the people. Um, people obviously didn't have the transport links that they have nowadays to go to stadiums that were a bit further out. Their original stadium was a little bit further out, um, but because people couldn't get there, they had to move towards the city a little bit more. There can't be too many um, clubs where that's the case. I guess a lot of teams would have started in the heartland of the city or the town where they're from, um, but York started a little bit further out and then actually eventually moved inwards. They then moved to this place, Bootham Crescent, and they were here for almost 90 years. They leased it at first, but in 1948, they bought it for around £4,000, which is, I think, about £108,000 in today's money. That seems like an absolute bargain. Imagine buying a uh, stadium in the city centre nowadays for £108,000. In the Second World War, parts of the stadium were used as an air raid shelter. Not only do these stadiums bring joy to the masses, but they also save lives as well. The David Longhurst stand was erected in 1991 after David Longhurst, the player, actually died at the ground, sadly, in 1990 whilst playing. It hosted the Football League from 1932 to 2004 when they got relegated. Remember I showed you the uh, the history of the team and their sort of league positions earlier on? Then York City got back to the Football League in 2012 to 2016 before, of course, going down again. The highest ever attendance at this old stadium was 28,000 for an FA Cup match with Huddersfield in 1938. I'm also going to put on screen right now a graph of the sort of highest and average attendances of this old stadium just so you can see look how much it was sort of previously look you can see where that Huddersfield game was sort of attendances sort of dropped look in the 90s that's as technology got better people will start watching more um, football on the television you could watch like the Premier League and stuff on Sky in the 90s and attendances did drop um, sort of the world over in sort of lower league football um, but yeah like, as you can see it's kind of, sort of started to drop over time but like the average attendance was what around you know five ten thousand with the highest being sort of yeah within sort of the 15s um until a little bit later when as i said it started to dwindle eventually in the 90s there were drainage problems there was issues with the toilets the groves in the road end was apparently crumbling as well so the club instead of renovating the stadium look for somewhere new to go before we do head down to their modern stadium look what i've stumbled upon here look this is um something that look York HDP, building better places. How could they say that? There's nothing better than football stadiums. Um, but yeah, look, here's this is where like the former football ground will be. Is this where um, the old stadium was? Look, it looks like they're keeping sort of a green bit in the middle. Please, York, whoever's building this, please keep a bit of the center circle. Please keep a little bit of something that says the old stadium was once there. But I imagine that this whole square here is where the old ground used to be. And we saw from earlier, of course, that there wasn't much space to expand. As is the case with these old grounds, it's sort of easier for teams to sort of move away and go elsewhere, go somewhere new. But yeah, I've got a feeling that this, a former football grounds there, I don't know, yeah, if this sort of new build area is gonna be in place of the old classic stadium. How sad. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen such a stark contrast. Even like the Rotherham abandoned stadium and the Bradford Park Avenue abandoned stadium um, haven't been turned into putt stars or Hollywood Bowl or Cine World or anything else. There's a spec savers around there, there's a Prezzo around there. Uh, York have really moved up in the world since their days. Um, down at Bootham Crescent. I was driving up and I was thinking, God, surely no way that there's a stadium around here when I saw like the, the Cine World and stuff. I was like, it's brought me to a wrong place. And then, boom, there we go. There's a little stand around here. Let's see if we can uh, get in and have a quick look. This reminds me of MK Dons, very MK Dons-esque around here with all the um, sort of restaurants and um, cinemas and stuff. And look, here we have, is that the Minster there, which uh, is what York's nickname is, of course, the Minsters. Um, and then we have the White Rose of Yorkshire. We have a rugby team. Um, I guess they play rugby here, as well as, of course, football as well. And there's the LNER Stadium, um, which is the train line, isn't it, I believe? Um, yeah, look, there's a York player there. there. 
um, running away from someone in green. Maybe they're playing Plymouth in that photo. Here's the players' entrance of the LNER Stadium. Let's um, let's see if we can get in here. Welcome to York Stadium Leisure Complex. Here we go. Who's the next match? York City Knights against London Broncos, and then against Barrow in June and July. Obviously, the rugby team here. Here we go. We've made it into a director's lounge. But look, this is the um, current York Stadium. Like I say, very different to um, where we were earlier. But yeah, in the director's lounge now somehow of York's stadium. Um, as you can see, the pitch is sort of probably being relayed for the new season, I take it. But yeah, a much more modern looking stadium than what we used to. And there even is the David Longhurst stand. Obviously we read, um, I told you about him when I was at the other ground. They must have named this stand after him as well. So I believe it took them four years to build this place, from 2017 until it was opened in 2021. Um, they played their first game here against AFC Fylde. Um, I think my mate uh, Joe Cardle might have played for AFC Fylde, um, but York lost their first game here. I mentioned this in the Darlington video, that whenever I visit new clubs and they've moved to new stadiums, they always seem to lose their first game. Is it the pressure? Um, I guess it might be, but look at all these York fans. They're all queuing for the York Club shop. I think it might be maybe New Shirt Day or Season Ticket, Renewal Day or something like that, but um, yeah, absolutely mad. I just uh, yeah, walked in through these corridors and up through the director's lounge for a quick look. It, it's not really like a traditional stadium that I'm used to. It's more just like a complete leisure centre. As you can see, look, there's a library down there. I've passed a swimming pool to get here. There's NHS buildings through there. But look, we have the two teams. We've got a cafe, a library, ticket office, clip and climb, um, sports hall, changing, area, changing areas, swimming pool, leisure center, as well as loads of other stuff. And the hospitality lounges, which I just went up to there for a quick look. Wow, the hot weather is really upon us now. Oh, it's warm. It is a warm one today as I've been uh, traipsing around York. I know a lot of people come to York for the history and um, for the Minster, I guess, and for maybe uh yeah maybe more of the historical side of things all the churches and the incredible buildings and little winding streets and maybe food but i come to see uh, the brand new stadium plus the old abandoned one as well what a, what a dichotomy between the two the old abandoned one and how that was in and around the terraced houses um to where it is now um plonked out in on some main road somewhere surrounded by m s food and obviously all the different uh, sort of things that I showed you earlier, your Cine World, your IMAXs, your Starbucks, etc. Um, yeah, that is just modern football for you, isn't it? Uh, grounds are a lot further outside of the city these days. Better, um, better transport links, cheaper ground for them to build on and stuff. So yeah, it's understandable why teams do it, but it's a shame that they've um, lost their soul, 90 years of history at their old ground. And look, that's um, part of the stand there. Imagine if you, you know, come and watch uh, Doctor Strange and then go and watch York play or something like that. I'll leave some videos on screen right now. If you could click on one to carry on watching, that'd be amazing. Please also hit that like button. I'm sweating from head to toe right now and it'd really, really make me happy. Please also subscribe if you're new. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.